Hi there! Welcome to my channel. My name is Naomi. I'm a first year fourth grade teacher in Southern Louisiana and I'm so excited that you're here. This is a new vlog, a new classroom setup vlog, part two, day two, I don't know. I've been in here more than two days, so I guess part two. Um, hi! <laughs> it is 10.30 in the morning. I wanted to get here earlier, but story of my life, I didn't get here until 10.30 and I'm gonna have to deal with that because I wanted to sleep in because it is still summer. Surprise, surprise. I am very excited because in the last vlog, if you watched it, I put up like this big, huge wooden bulletin board paper on um, this humongous wall that I have in my room and I was so nervous that I was gonna come back today and it was gonna be down and on the floor, but it stayed up. So thank you Marvelous Tape for saving my life and working on these very complicated concrete walls. I feel like my speech is struggling today, but that's okay. I have a very long to-do list of things to do. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I will check back in with you guys in a little bit once I've made some progress and I can actually like, I don't know, have things to talk about. Cause right now I'm just like, I need to go, 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 go. Uh, ready to work. So I'll see you in the next clip. me hang that quote up there and I have feelings about it so I put it on the floor and I measured it by the tiles to make sure that it was gonna be centered but somehow in execution as I was putting it up there it still managed to be off center and it was off center in my last classroom and it bothered me so much so I wanted to make sure I got it right this time and I didn't and I am NOT gonna redo it so let's take a look at it up close oh man <laughs> it's not terrible but it's also like I know it's centered with the ceiling, but yeah, anyway, let me just show you. There's a glare because of lights, but in this class, we are growing together. It's centered with the ceiling part. We can see we have this little weird part here that the wall, it's not centered with the wall or the wood. So I could either redo it, which I don't want to do because it took me like 40 minutes to do that just now, um, or I can add something or I can just leave it be. But yeah, that's what we're working with. Also, I mapped out you can see on here, um, I measured and mapped out kind of like the sections and stuff, so it's going to work perfectly. So each sticky note is the um, like divider, sorry, the divider of each section. And then on each section, it'll have room for anchor charts, or like one anchor chart, the most current one that we're working on. And then like so next to it, I'm going to have a smaller um, piece of butcher paper, or more paper or something that I'm going to use for a specific word wall for each category. And so this right here is gonna be reading, that'll be writing, speaking and listening, and then that'll be social studies. The quote, I'm not quite happy with my performance and putting it up there. I'm um, also, I had to use the broom because I'm just a tad too short, but it worked out. You know, my little step stool was great. I didn't wanna go get the ladder, so, you know, we got it up there. It doesn't look bad. I think I just had more space between the words when they were on the floor, and then when I put it up there, I didn't to give as much space. Probably just gonna leave it because that was a task that I just don't want to spend any more time on. But anyway, that's that. Um, some other things I did so far is I took all the labels off of this. I'm about to empty out all of those supplies into some other bin. And then I um, kind of organized some books that, some loose books that were laying around. Um, and then I hung these two things on this bulletin board, like my genre key, so what all my labels mean, and then my teacher is currently reading. And then I usually cut out a piece of picture of the book cover of whatever book that I'm reading and I tape it underneath there just so my students can also identify myself as a reader um, since they don't get to see me physically reading in class a lot just because of um, how our days are structured. And then over here I put our checkout and return procedures for books and then I don't know where I'm going to put that yet or if I'm going to put it up at all but that happened. Hello. It has been a while since I checked in and I've done a lot since, so I'll have to take you around and show you what I've done since then. But I think I have the majority of stuff that I want on the walls. On the walls. Um, there's a few things that I'm not going to put until school starts, you know, like 
I'm gonna leave some room for us to grow together. Um, but what I'm doing right now is I bought these from Target. So I bought 30 of them, so and they were from the dollar to not from one dollar. The little dry erase pocket sleeves. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take this out and put just a tiny little label that says it's mine, um, like on the back of something. Just because I don't want my things to go missing, or I don't know, I'm just very weird because I spent my own money on it, so yeah. So I took the coverings that we had on the Promethean board and like my desktop computer off. Um, so those are exposed now. And the little, I don't have a teacher desk in here because I don't want one, so I'm glad that they didn't have one in here. But the little table that the desktop is sitting on is not the cutest thing underneath. And honestly, I isn't fine with it, it doesn't matter. Um, but the old teacher, or the previous teacher who was in here, she covered it with some type of paper. And I didn't like the paper that she covered it with because it didn't like vibe in here. So I took it off and I was just gonna leave it because I did not feel like buying any more um, paper if I don't have to. Well, I randomly found a roll of leftover um, wood wall paper that I had stuffed away from somewhere. Um, and I said, oh my gosh, this is perfect. And so I just cut a little snippet and covered the front of that little table thing. and. I mean, it made like a tiny difference. If I hadn't had covered it, it would have been totally fine. But you know, now it's just a little bit more coherent with the room. Um, I don't know, I'm very detail oriented. So like that little stuff, some people, it, like they, it doesn't even phase them that that happened or like that exists or is part of the room. But because I'm so detail minded like that, um, and like the little things I pick up on, um, that was something that like I wanted to do and I saw the opportunity and so I did it. These are all labeled, so that is exciting. I'm probably gonna leave and go eat and just like call it quits for the day. Um, I might do some projects at home, but honestly, if I do, it won't be for that long and it'll be kind of boring to watch, so I'm not gonna film that. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys around the room. All right, so first door, what we did, added this little wreath here. I think it's okay. And then over here, I added our calendar. This I just printed this from our bundle set. I do want to add like a backing for the days of the week because I realize they're tiny and then I'll move them like centered, but that's a last priority effort right now. I'm glad that it just says days of the week. So I like that. And then this area is where I'm going to feature like holiday um, months and stuff. So I haven't figured it out yet, but somewhere over here, I'm gonna put like, we are celebrating whatever, whatever. Um, and then I'll have books that feature that holiday or um, that culture or whatever it might be. And then that'll be there, and so it'll be right about the date thing. Oh, my battery's about to die, so I'm about to switch to my phone. And then over here, I decided that this is where this bucket is going to live, and this is going to be, like, notes for the teacher and um, stuff like that. And this is something that I added. Well, let me cover up those pictures. But I added this over here, and then this is where, like, our class um, picture wall is going to be. And those are pictures of previous students of mine, so I'm going to cover them up. I added this wall because I had already had it cut out. Um, from last year and then I added that ivy on top you can't see because the light but it is about to fall so I need to get up there and restabilize it um, and then last year I hung acre charts across the windows I don't know if I'm gonna do that now since I have this wall over here which I already showed you guys but I did do something different not different but new um, I need to stabilize these later but I want to see how they look so I put um, clothes pins under each section I might add more but that is where like student work is gonna go. And so I'm going to have these up for the time being, but they're just a little bit too heavy until I find a better way to stick these on here besides tape. I'll probably hot glue them, but I just didn't feel like getting that out today. Another thing I did was I moved this bookshelf to the center of this back wall. I don't have anything on it yet, so we'll see, but I added this little um, poster that I had last year and like this little clear thing from Walmart and then a random fake plant that I had had from last year as well. I finally put the wheels on that anchor chart uh, holder thing, makeshift <laughs> anchor chart holder. Over here I have our, I guess it's really district wide, but this is our school behavior management system. So we have our classroom rules, like school wide rules, and then um, the actual like count. So their conduct grades will be based off of how many um, rule violations they received that day or didn't. So I put these up here and I kind of bordered, I didn't kind of, I did. I bordered them with some border just to kind of make it a little bit cleaner. Um, it is a little bit obnoxious because I have the border everywhere, but I'm not gonna do it too much. So I kind of like how that looks. It's a little computer dust situation. So I just added that little tiny strip there, pretty much it. Over here, this is where I think I'm gonna do our objectives, agenda and homework stuff, but I just don't know. 
So, because I don't like the way that this looks, I know there's a better way, so I'm going to have to play around with it. I'll probably draw it out a few different ways and just see. And I don't want to put anything in this little section because no one can see that. But also the computer blocks anything that I have right here from these friends. So, I don't know. Things I need to play around with. If you have suggestions, please let me know. I'm talking fast because my camera's about to die. I emptied out this cart with all the supplies and I took the labels off and this is going to be my like teacher supply cart um, and these pink bins are going to be their turn-in bins so since I have two classes, my homeroom and then my partner teacher's homeroom, don't know where I'm going to put it yet but for now it's just hanging out in the front of the room. This is also going to be my teacher supply cart as well so I have like my pins and I have to fill this up. This clock is just here because it fell. Lots of things everywhere and then I have these passes, have these I like, call passes, so I printed them out and then laminated them, and then I bought these lanyards, and so I put them all on the lanyards, and then I hung um, two command strips and have them there. So these are like bathroom passes, specifically here, and this is office, um, nurse, and hallway passes. So they have to have one to exit my classroom, and if they don't, then they are out without permission. And then this is something that I just don't know how I feel about yet, but I bought a big, huge poster of loose leaf from school aides. I wrote on there how I would like the students to format their papers so I don't have to repeat it every single time when you do an assignment. They can just look up there and reference it. But I hand wrote it and I hate having my handwriting on the wall so for now that's there. I might vinyl or I don't know. I don't know. It's pro it's literally fine. I don't know. I just have a weird thing about seeing my handwriting on the wall. And then I bordered around that because it looked weird just by itself. I don't know if I like it with the border. I don't know if I like it at all but I want that to exist in my classroom so I don't know, that's something that I'm going to have to mull over and decide what I, how I feel about it. Hi guys, so um, today's Saturday, the day after everything that you just watched. I did not plan on coming in today, like I was going to come just back on Monday, but last night I had a freak out and I was just so stressed and everything that I just had to come in today to kind of relieve that stress and just get that anxiety out of my head. Um, so anyways, I came today and I'm glad I did because I like feel much better, I feel relieved. Um, and I don't know what happened last night, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. So I did a bunch. I filmed nothing because I just didn't want to vlog either. I just wanted to come and like, you know, do a mental care uh, classroom setup thing. So I'm on my phone. I don't even have my camera with me. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I did really, really, really quickly. And then I'm going to leave because I still want to be able to enjoy my Saturday. Okay, so in my library, I had that shelf full of picture books. But I decided to just dedicate this to chapter books because I know my library is going to grow because I know myself. Um, and so I know I'm going to need some extra space for chapter books. So what I did is I moved this bookshelf that was on the whole other side of my room right here. Um, to the library station and then I use these book bins and I still need to organize and figure them out um, as picture book storage and so I still need to categorize them all but I like this so much better and then up here for now I just have all these things eventually I'm going to get little book stands and I'll have a featured um, text up here but for now I'm much happier <laughs> um, so this is one thing that was like really stressed me out that I just needed to figure out and then over here what I did is I started preliminary organizing this cabinet um, and so these are all loose supplies and then those are crayons and markers and they're separated by their warmth um, and so these are cool crayons and markers so greens blues purples warm colors um, red orange yellows pinks and these are all neutrals and then I also have the color of the worlds um, for the both the markers and the crayons in there as well so this is just so much better. I need to make labels for everything, but oh my gosh, I'm just so happy. And these are gonna be um, curriculum material bins, and, but I don't have that material yet. This is just like some teacher stuff. I need to update this, uh, like this binder cover. And then I also need to just update the binders as well. These are just like enrichment type stuff for the students to kind of help them with test prep skills. My teacher toolbox with things and then my professional development books. So a child lit book, child development, classroom management, you know, Harry Wong. Um, creating strategic readers and then the scholastic guiding reading book. These are all from college classes and these are the textbooks that we had for various classes and I decided that these were the ones that I found relevant enough to keep. So I have them. And also inside of this cabinet, oh my gosh, inside the cabinet, it is going to be, oh, my organization heaven. So up here, I'm going to have all the Ziploc bags because that's something that is on their supply list. 
Those are um, extra school folders that we use school-wide, so they're conduct folders and the test folders that go home. This is gonna be for extra composition notebooks and stuff, and just like loose folders. These are extra notebooks that I already have. This is a cleaning supply, so those are some sprays, and I know they're supplyless, so that's why it's empty now and you don't see it, but I'm saving space for when the students do bring their supplies to school. So this would be cleaning supplies and paper towels, um, Kleenex, and then Germex or hand sanitizer. And then those are just some smell good things that are living there for the moment because I don't wanna plug all that in yet. I'm gonna wait until school actually starts. I left this empty for something, but I cannot remember what it is. But this is a shelf as well. This is gonna be for our cardstock and paper um, that they bring, and then this is loose leaf paper. So I know the loose leaf paper is going to travel up there as well, but that is all right. My table has gotten messier, but also cleaner. Um, so I took everything out of bins so that way I could lay my eyes on what things were because I know the bins that they were in is not where they were living. So I just kind of took everything out. This is going to stay here. This is like my um, little box for my small group table. So everything is just kind of living around that. Um, oh, this is something also that I did. I kind of organized my teacher rolling cart because I don't have a desk and I don't want a desk. So this is just literally gonna follow me around everywhere I go. Um, so I kind of gave some things at home. So my, you know, self-care things, lotion and hand sanitizer, pens, Sharpies, highlighters, and other markers. See, well, these are stamps, anchor chart markers, some scissors, Kleenex, tape, stapler, sticky notes. Down here, I have thank you cards, um, student motivation cards, good work cards, homework coupons, some other like behavior incentive things, loose supplies. Um, and these are cute, I got them a while ago. I don't know where, maybe Target. Um, it's rock, paper, scissors, but it's a dice so the students can compete. And then I have a Bluetooth microphone that is supposed to be in here, but it's not in here, that will go there. And then this is like my cleaning on the go section. So this is Miss Westbrook in a cart. Anything I need will be here or here. Well, there, slash there. <laughs> I organize the students' caddies for how I want them, their supply caddies. So this is gonna be like their writing and annotation area. So they have highlighters, blue pens, red pens, sticky notes. And then this is their dry erase area. So dry erase markers and erasers. I need to figure out something else I wanna put in here. I have a couple things that I'm thinking of, but I just am not sure. I might put index cards, I don't know. But I have glue sticks, and then I bought um, the 24 pack of markers, and I, I mean not markers, crayons, and they fit perfectly in these little bins from the Dollar Tree, and they come in a two pack. So that was wonderful, and um, they fit literally absolutely perfect, so I bought um, eight today, and they were only 50 cents. And then every bin also has the multicultural crayons as well. People donated these to my Amazon wish list, so I'm grateful for that, and so I'm able to have um, class set or table set groups for this and I have extras too over in that back cabinet over there which will be nice so all my students can feel represented especially when they want to draw people and stuff in their pictures. This shelf kind of got a makeover so right here I'm probably going to put tissues um, I just didn't yet because I don't need them out. This top one has our school stem bins that each classroom gets and these are just the leftover ones that I had from last year. Um, I don't have anything in here yet but this is going to be more in like rich enrichment based area um and then that is going to be like ela word work enrichment activities because we have a whole section of our day um for it's called wind time whatever i need or what i need um and that's basically for intervention or enrichment and so i'm going to have this area be kind of dedicated for that another thing i did was i moved those two white shelves so i separated them and i moved them to either side of the room so one is right here and then one is up there and they each hold student materials. So the one in the back are extra materials that they might need, but not as often, not as regularly, so they don't need to frequently come and bother this poor friend back here. Um, but for this one, I have dry erase markers, and then these are empty ones, because I don't know what I'm going to put in them yet. Problem of my life. Um, and then I have the students' hole puncher and student stapler back here. Mine are on my small group table. And then let's walk up to the front one. What I have up here, um, I have hand sanitizer and tissues. I'm sorry, there was a student name on that tissue box, so I wanted to cover it up. That one was already open, so I just put it out here. This is their eraser area. <laughs> these are really rewards, but sometimes I just let students have them because I don't really care. Um, and these are large erasers and, you know, the individual gummy erasers. And then I have pencils here. 
the students will not be able to come get these as a free-for-all but I needed a place to store them and um, this is going to be like the materials that they will need more often so pencils I'm still working through a system in my head about how I want to do pencils in the classroom um, but they are away from my pencil sharpener which is way over there because I don't need every child going to the pencil sharpener because last year they almost broke it because they were they don't know how to sharpen pencils and I just don't know why. But anyway, pencils, extra pens, ec oh, extra highlighters, but I don't have any yet, um, sticky notes. And then for both of these bottom two shelves, they're empty because I don't know what I want to do with them yet. I am debating if I want to go and buy four more of these, um, if I can find them again or if I want to put something else there so for now they're empty until I know for sure what I want to do with it and then I hung up this pocket chart right here and I put like our conduct cards leftover ones I have from last year in there for now um so I think that looks good centered with the wreath have not figured out anything to do with that but that's fine up here I left this but I did decide in my head I'm going to take it down erase it and I'm going to have the same stuff on it but I'm going to use my Cricut to make it in vinyl so that way it looks a lot neater because I Look at it and I cringe and I hate it. It's not a big deal, the kids do not care. No one will care, but I care. And no, if I have the time, I'm gonna use the time and I do have the time. So I'm going to just turn all that into vinyl and then stick it on there <laughs> instead. Also previously I had my calendar right here, but I just didn't like how it looked. So I moved it to the door and I think it looks nice there and it kind of balances off how they have the pocket chart in the back of that door as well. So it's pretty much everything I did today. Um, I did do like some other minute stuff, like cleaning and whatever, but I do that every day I come. Um, but that is it. Just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I did come back and change things in a frenzy because the way I left yesterday, oh, I think I was just too hungry. My brain was just not functioning correctly. And by the time I got home, I realized that I hated a lot of the things that I did. So I wanted to come back and fix those and correct them. So that way when I come back on Monday, I'm not coming to a hot mess. Plus I didn't really have plans this morning anyway, so it was fine. But I'm going to leave so I can enjoy my Saturday. I'm going to take all of that trash out because, yikes, I accumulated a bunch of trash. And then I'm going to have a fun time. And I'll see you in the next vlog. But I will let Naomi from yesterday resume and close out the rest of this video. All right, so my camera is literally flashing red. It is about to die. But I want to thank you all for watching, especially if you made it this far. Today was kind of a crazy day. Um, I was just all over the place doing tasks as they came up. But thank you for watching. Stay tuned because this classroom is not done yet and more set of videos are to come. So keep checking back. You can subscribe to be notified every time I post a new video and you will see more of the transition that this classroom is definitely going through right now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everything. Please leave your tips, suggestions, questions, everything in the comments below and I will definitely respond to them and hopefully, probably take those suggestions into consideration because y'all, I don't really know what I'm doing in this room. Hope you have a great day, great evening, great night. Whenever you're watching this, know that you're amazing and you can do great things. I'm being obnoxious and I'm stressing and I'm rushing because I'm trying to finish this before the camera dies. So anyway, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.